Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're actually going to be doing an idea which a commenter commented so many thanks for the comment and that idea actually is put two galaxies on a collision course so we all know that simulations in the game but put a little whether this is be a little twist in in the galaxy we're going to put stars inside and see where they end up like will they collide will they get thrown out there's multiple theories what will happen to like our galaxy and our and the sun obviously when um the galaxies collide, so Milky Way and Andromeda in the future, what will actually happen? So we're going to see what Universe Sandbox does with the stars and stuff, and yeah, we're going to find out what happens. Like, I'm assuming they're going to get thrown out of the galaxy, but anything could happen, right? So I thought we'd start off in Trappist 1 system today, because why not? Why not? A level little change. So let's go into um, new simulation here, uh, not new simulation, dang it. Let's go into the galaxies um, one, so that is somewhere here. Where is it? It's um, I think it's on collisions, isn't it? Whereabouts is it? Okay, there's a lot here. Actually, it should just be... Um... Oh, there it is. Alright, so we're going to pause it right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add stuff into the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy. So we'll add the sun in and we'll add a bunch of random stars as well. So that'd be pretty interesting. So let's um, open the menu up here to get all the objects out. So let's get the sun. And actually, I think I'll add the whole system in as well so we get all of our planets and stuff. Would that be a good idea? Actually, no, no, I don't want to do that because it's going to add in all of the moons as well. I add the planets in manually, actually. So, we could just do that again. All right, so let's place the sun in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the sun. Um, sun? But where even is it? <laughs> wow, it's so small in here. Can you even spot it? Look how far we have to zoom in. Here it is. So we can see our little, tiny little sun here. Look how small it is compared to the whole Milky Way. You just can't even see it. That's just how... It's just so amazing just how, like insignificant our solar system is like in the Milky Way so I am zooming in here just that's awesome so right let's add in the planets so we should have all of our planets now I'm hoping a little bit can we even see it <laughs> okay they're even here let's have a look okay so all the planets are here it's just trying to find them maybe a bit of a challenge can we so where are they can I... are they actually there if I zoom in a little more well I can't spot the planets but Apparently they are here. Um, um, okay, I'm just going to assume they're there because yeah, the menu says they're there. So yeah, we'll just live with that. So enough of me um, rapping as well. And actually, while we're um, adding all these random stars now, I got to thank you guys again. I know I do it every every video pretty much, but the subscriber count, as usual, is just like so high right now. It is ridiculous. I, I literally cannot thank you guys enough. Like, I never thought I'd get this far to us. I never thought I'd get above 100. But we are almost at 600 now. And we're literally at 591 as of making this. So I'm hoping that we can get, after this video comes out, we can make it to 600. So make sure if you haven't subscribed already, press that subscribe button. You know, just cheekily press it. Oh, I don't know. I'll stop saying stupid stuff. So I'm going to add more stars in here. So that should be enough. And if I was wrong, actually, I think I saw Jupiter over here. So why is Jupiter there? Why is it outside the Milky Way? Well, just pretend they're just random planets that got ejected from their systems. So, now why is Jupiter there? Where's like the other planets? Like Uranus? Wait, they're all here. See so that? Well, that's interesting. So it spawned all the planets. So the sun should be like in the middle here, but the planets have sort of um, decided they want to go on a little dual ride and decided they want to leave the Milky Way. Okay, that is very strange. I don't know why the planets have spawned out here. But anyways, that should be enough stars to use as an example. So now let's add them into the Andromeda Galaxy as well. So let's also get some more random stars. Or oh, it may be hard to do this actually. So I'm going to put them on a tilt like that. So if you don't know how to like bend the stars orbit when you place them, just tap and then hold the mouse down to um, like change the orbits like this. So there we go. So we'll add plenty of these guys in here. And yeah, there we go. So add more of them in like that. Okay, this should be good. All right, almost there. Yeah, we'll add a few more in. There's a lot more in the Milky Way, so we'll just continue to add these in there. And remember, these stars are light years apart as well. So just the um, absolute scale of all of these um, stars is insane. Oh, whoops, I'm putting them in around the Milky Way instead. All right, let's put them like that and like that again. It's really hard to sort of do this, honestly. So there we go. Okay, we should be near enough now. We'll put we'll put a bunch of stars in the galactic core if we can get there as well. Wait, can we even zoom? I can't even zoom in much more than this. Wait, if we do this. Look how bright this is. This is crazy. Okay. 
trying to zoom in here. This is taking a while. Okay, we'll just we'll just leave it here, and then we'll just add in a bunch of random stars. And they should be orbiting this black hole. Actually, let's just zoom out again, because I can't see anything in here. I'm zooming out as fast as I can as well. I can't really... Let's just get out of there. Just galaxies are just insane. They're a little buggy. You've got to remember in this game, galaxies aren't fully implemented yet, so... Yeah, it's quite hard to predict, like, what will actually happen, because... You can barely do anything with galaxies in this game, as of currently, because like, if you look in here, you can't change its mass, you can't change the radius, you can't, like, do anything. There's, there's like, nothing. You can rename it, but that's, like, the only thing you can do with galaxies. But I believe in the future, you'll be able to change the colours and stuff like that, like you can with the planets, so... Yeah, that'll be interesting. Alright, so we've got the um, galaxies all sorted out now, so... In case we need to use this again, I'm going to quickly save this, so... Yeah, we can do multiple tests. But now, we want to slow down time a lot more, and we're going to hit the play button. We're going to see exactly what happens. So, I still think the, ga the stars are going to get ejected here, but we could get some supernovas. I actually don't know this, so let's give it a go. So, let's hit play. Yeah, so, we're traveling quite slow. So, let's speed this up. So, we're traveling a few million years now. Oh, wow, look at all the stars. That is just amazing. Look at that. That's so cool. So, you've got to remember, there probably would be random stars just wandering by themselves as well. And some of these stars look like they're dying. Like, this star's getting hotter in temperature, so it's getting older. And the star's all changing, so... Wow! <laughs> look at all the planets, you can just see them, they're all going all crazy there, so... Galaxies are still getting closer. Wow, look at all these... Oh, they're the planets, yeah. But just pretend they're stars or just rogue planets. Oh, that is cool, just look at this. So, get a cool view here. Just You just see stars and stuff everywhere, it's amazing. Now, you've got to remember, these would be in complete darkness if they're rogue planets as well. Look at this, they're just completely all thrown out. Okay, so... Right, the galaxies are about to merge now. Okay, they're touching. So now the stars from the Andromeda galaxy, so like this one here, they're now going to go into the Milky Way galaxy. We're going to see exactly what happens here. So, okay, they're almost merging. Right, so speed it up a little more. Simulation's a little, little slow and laggy, but we can manage it. Right, we've got to be careful. We want to see everything going on. So, looks like they're still orbiting. So if we just pause it at 50 million years, dead on, that's lucky. All right, so, and then press orbits. Okay, so they look like, yeah, they're still orbiting the two different black holes, as you can see the orbits, uh, yeah, you can see there's the orbits up here on the top here, they're orbiting the black hole in the Andromeda, but the ones down here, these orbits, they're definitely orbiting the, um, the Milky Way, um, black hole, which is Sagittarius A, I believe. Oh, we have a Nova Remnant, so I'm assuming this star got so old it just exploded, because <laughs> we are, we have been 50 million years, and if that star's on the last legs of its life, it definitely would have blown up at this point, so, pretty interesting stuff, but let's continue playing now. We'll just get rid of all that. Just if we just look at that, it just looks so amazing. But yeah, we'll keep an eye on the labels like that. Actually, no, I'll keep trails off, but we'll keep the labels on. So we can see all the stars just flying around here. And it looks like okay, so where are the black holes? If we just look for a second. So we've got one black hole there. Where is the second black hole? Oh no, 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 black both black holes have now merged. There's only one black hole left. We can look here. Because they would have been called black holes. So both black holes have merged, or one of the black holes has gone. So, oh, what's this supernova? Oh, I won't, I won't ask questions. So, why is it a little star like that? That's a glitch thing in the game right now, that. Those tiny little, like, white dots. So, looks like the Milky Way is all that's left in the Andromeda galaxy is gone. Yeah, it has. Interesting. So if we look on, um... Okay, no, we can't even... There's not even an option here for galaxies, but we only have one black hole left, so that leads me to the conclusion that both black holes have now combined. So now we have one super big galaxy... So now all of these the planets and stars and stuff, they'll all be orbiting one black hole. So that would be this one right here. Just look at this. And this, the galaxies are dissipating a bit, but if we can zoom in here, we can see all the stars are just flying around the um, black hole. So this is pretty much like what, what it is in real life, except there'll be a lot more stars. And if you if you guys want me to do like a more detailed version, I could probably do it in a live stream or a different video. But yeah, that'll probably be quite a slow simulation since we'll probably... Yeah, I'll probably spend like five minutes just adding, adding stars in, so it'll probably get crazy. But just as a little example, so absolutely nothing has got ejected here. We've got this one here, which has kind of been thrown out from the galaxies a bit. If we look from this star's perspective, it has pretty much left the galaxy, but it still is pretty much part of the galaxy system, since if we look at its orbit here, its orbit still does go into the galaxy, so I'd definitely class that as in the galaxy still. So, wait, what's this over there? Can you can you see that? Look where my mouse is, a bunch of supernovas over there. That's very strange, you see that up there, where my mouse is, look, supernovas all over there. I'm guessing we've travelled through space, so we originally started over there, but the galaxies moved this way, maybe? I have no idea. But anyways, looking good, actually, so 
if we just turn this orbits off, the galaxies are looking quite like a quite like a big mess now, but that is actually surprising. I definitely thought some stars may get thrown out completely, but obviously not. So according to this simulation, the Milky Way and the Sun and stuff, they'll be fine. So the supernova sun will probably still kill us. Um, or kill what's left of the Earth if it hasn't already been destroyed already. So interesting stuff. So you've got to remember this is all this galaxy collision will happen when the sun is a red giant. So we may we may not be there to see this unless we're in a different star system if we eventually do leave our solar system. So yeah. So from this, our sun would survive. It wouldn't collide with anything, meaning the sun would definitely still end the solar system. It, the solar system wouldn't get destroyed by a galaxy collision or anything like that. So if we look at all the orbits here, yeah, everything still seems to be... Um, okay, this is the fastest we can run it, but everything still seems to be orbiting the um, black hole fine. Because all of the objects, because they're so far away from each other, and I'm pretty sure that the closest gap between these stars is probably a few light years minimal. So, yeah, they're not going to affect... Oh, excuse me there. They're not going to affect each other when they get close to each other in the orbit. So, now we're permanently stuck with this. So, if we turn off that, we've got two galaxies pretty much merged in one big one now. So, now we have, like, milk dromeda or milky or something like that. Or and milky uh, I don't know. What would you call it? Yeah, what would you guys call the two collided galaxies, Andromeda and Milky Way? Would you call them milk dromeda or dromeda, uh, other dromeda milk or and milky uh, I don't know. <laughs> so... There we go, so to conclude this video, I won't make it get too long now, so to conclude, according to this game, the simulation, it proves that, yeah, stuff will not get ejected from the galaxies and everything should be fine, doesn't look like any solar systems will merge, so that is that for this video guys, so hopefully you all enjoyed, hopefully it wasn't too long and I didn't repeat myself too much, I'm still not the best at making videos, but I'm getting better, oh there, look, if we just move, that galaxy is travelling through space, I think, is it? I don't know. Alright, but anyways, to conclude, guys, pretty cool stuff. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure, if you haven't already, press that subscribe button. Help us on the journey to 600 subscribers, because hopefully we can get it before the end of the weekend, because that would be amazing. And obviously, many thanks to everyone who's already subscribed, and make sure you go check out another video of mine if you like this sort of stuff. And yeah, um, I think that's everything I think I needed to say. So make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Laters.